Okay, this is 5B. Uh, cutting out the secondary hexagonal, hexagonal jig. And uh, I'm just going to leave it there. A little tricky with the saw. The 62 seems to be fine. Nice smooth finish. One thing I found though that I had problems with is uh, don't use chipboard or uh, OSB because the edge is just too rough for the uh, to slide the saw against. So you want to make yourself, uh, you know, cut one factory. You don't want to use the factory edge when you want to make your own edge. So what we'll do first, we're going to measure cross corner. So I got my thumb over the top of the ruler. We got 20, 3 eighths and a sixteenth. A twenty-three quarters and a sixteenth. Twenty-three quarters and a sixteenth. Twenty-three quarters and a sixteenth. So that's seems to be okay. Our sides are ten and three eighths. Ten and three eighths. This one's out. Ten and three eighths. About a sixteenth. So we're gonna just mark it there. out where the air is. Ten and three eighths. Okay, this one's big too. It's ten and a half. smaller than just a tad under 10 and 3 eighths. This is 10 and a half, so that one's over. So we've got three sides that are over. It could be the way that I'm holding the ruler too. So I'm just going to mark 10 and 3 eighths on each one. That one's good. Okay. So we have a big marker here. The side is big. This side is big. And this one. And also here. So we got one, two, three, four that are the same. Ten and three eighths. So I'm going to mark this on it. Ten, three eighths. Ten and three eighths. 
I'm going to put minus to just a hair under. So we got two that are small. That means we cut inside the line on our pattern. This is ten and three eighths. So it should have been out a pencil mark. Out more. Now it came out right. Uh. point. Three quarter exactly. Three quarter. Three quarters. So the outside seems to be good from point to point. What we might have to do is just use this to make our first cut. So I got the, this plywood marked off in two foot cut, so we actually want to make this has to be the finer 24 inch mark here. We don't have much tolerance for a saw cutter. That's where it starts to get tricky. Measure in twelve and a sixteenth. Twelve and a sixteenth, draw a half line. Okay. We need this side flush. We're going to the point. To the point. Point here to the line, point here to the line, make sure our pattern's right here, no, I made a mistake, I use this for a jig, I'm not going to get 24 inches. See what I did. I used the jig as the main, main template. The men's gonna have to do all this over again. All right, we'll come back on the part C.